नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशन सर्विसेज आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई एस सी बैंगलोर एलमस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एफ टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन द वेरी फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ दिस टेस्ट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यू नंबर इलेवन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स दैट इज एक्चुअल एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स फ्रॉम द टेस्ट दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन एंड लेंजेस लॉ टू बार मैग्नेट्स ए एंड बी एंड अ नॉन मैग्नेटिक बार सी ऑल ऑफ सेम मास एंड डायमेंशंस आर ड्रॉप्ड इन एन आइडेंटिकल मैनर वन बाय वन थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ अ कॉपर लूप हेल्ड हॉरिजोंटली एज शोन इन द फिगर द टाइम टेकन बाय द बार्स ए बी एंड सी टू रीच द ग्राउंड आर टी ए टी बी एंड टी सी रिस्पेक्टिवली विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिलेशन इज करेक्ट टी ए ग्रेटर दैन टी बी ग्रेटर दैन टी सी टी ए इक्वल टू टी बी ग्रेटर दैन टी सी टी ए इक्वल टू टी बी लेस दैन टी सी एंड ऑप्शन डी टी ए लेस दैन टी बी लेस दैन टी सी ओके सो द ऑप्शन दैम सेल्व इंडिकेट दैट द टाइम टेकन बाय द नॉन मैग्नेटिक बार सी is never going to be equal to the time taken by the magnet a and magnet b okay which then basically so this is actually helping us this is going to tell us that try to relate this with a law or with a situation where we have magnets in motion near the conductor and the only law or there are two of them the faraday's law and the lenz's law those laws should be used to solve this particular problem <coughs> okay Fine. So, uh, what does the Lenz's law tell us? Lenz's law tells us that the induced EMF or the induced current in this particular case, because it is a loop, this induced current will create its own magnetic field, which is actually going to oppose the motion of the magnets. Okay, <clears throat> which means if magnet A is coming downwards, it is approaching the loop. then it's that that particular motion will be opposed okay if <coughs> bar magnet a is going away from the loop still <coughs> the induced current direction will be in such a way that it will try to attract so basically the relative motion prevention is the job of the induced emf or induced current that is what lenz's law tells us correct so irrespective of whether it is magnet a or magnet b because they are identical in strength and in mass and in dimensions there won't be any uh, difference as far as the times taken by magnets a and b to pass through the or to reach basically the loop okay to reach the loop okay so what what can we write if we want to write the answer in a systematic manner we shall say point 1 as all three bars have same mass gravity acts equally on them right gravity acts equally on them and they are being dropped from the same height okay number 2 <clears throat> the opposition the opposition will be experienced the opposition will be experienced only by the magnets only by the magnets right why only magnets because magnets will cause an induced current in the in the loop here and the direction of that induced current will be such that its own polarity will try to oppose the relative motion okay so clearly tc will be smallest right tc will be smallest so options c and d are ruled out because there the their tc is greatest right okay now point 3 <coughs> see now this opposition that both these magnets a and b are going to experience that is irrespective of the polarity or the poles which face the the loop correct that is our third law uh, third 
point i should say okay the third point irrespective of irrespective of whether n pole faces the loop or s pole south pole the opposite force or the opposition will be equal in magnitude see we are not interested for this particular problem in determining the direction of the induced current in the coil or or in the loop whether it is anti clockwise or clockwise that will be different for magnets a and b because the different poles are approaching but as far as the time taken by the these magnets a and b to reach the ground or to reach this uh, plane is concerned those times will be same therefore ta will be equal to tb ta equal to tb greater than tc that's the option ta equal to tb greater than tc is the option so correct option is b okay see if times taken by magnets a and b were different there would have been two versions of lenz's law one for the north pole approaching and one for the south pole approaching but do you find the two versions no there is only one version so irrespective of the pole the opposition faced by the magnet must be same this opposition will basically reduce the speed with which these two magnets are falling down a bit because well gravity is obviously going to dominate these magnets are not going to levitate above the plane correct okay so 56 option b